so today I'm going to look at the casing prototypes I've been making for um, Project PyDA. Um, this is the latest prototype. It's not perfect, though. I made an idiot mistake and put the hole for the uh, stylus slot um, mirrored to where I want it. I want it here. Because here, the stylus, um, and I should probably make the hole a little bit um, more thorough um, to help you direct the stylus in more. Because it's pretty hard to get in um, if you're not looking. Make the hole bigger. Because right now the stylus has a lot of wiggle room in there. But um, you see if on this side it hits a, a little IC up here. Um, so it can't go in all the way. But on this side there's no obstructions. Um, so it would go in all the way. Um, and I just put it on the wrong side. Um, and when it goes in all the way it's pretty much flush. And I don't know how easy it would be to get out, but um, that was something I was going to look into. Um, so this was probably going to be my final prototype housing, um, though it didn't print very well, so having to reprint it with uh, this hole in the right place isn't that big of a deal, um, because my settings for this new white PLA aren't really tuned in yet. Um, I mean, my black PLA... Um, I mean, this one didn't print perfectly, but it um, printed a lot better than this. Um, and I didn't even really bother tuning my settings for the black PLA at all. Um, you can see it's quite a brick of a device. But now that it's in its case, it's at least somewhat more manageable. There will be a switch either up here or down there eventually. I'm still waiting for that to get in. Um, I would show you the switches that I do have in inventory right now, except I'm, and I brought one over here to show you, except I'm actually using it to prop up the camera, because the 3D printed pivot mount is, um, weak. It, it, here it is. Um, so these are the switches I have in inventory, which are huge, um, so I'm waiting for some much smaller switches to get in from AliExpress. Um... So the design stages I went through with these prototype cases are, uh, this was the first one. You can see the sides were a lot thinner, um, the screen, um, area was slightly smaller and the screen didn't really fit in it well. Um, here was about the same, um, except I did, you can kind of see the stubs of it. I had, uh, little thingies going down, uh, for these gaps, except those broke off really quickly. Um... And they didn't line up perfectly, and they made it hard to get USBs in because they inset the USB ports more than I wanted to. This, um, so I just ended up giving up on those, and I think that's probably fine. Um, this here is a little indentation that, again, didn't print perfectly. Um, that's because my support settings are wrong, and I know how to fix that. I just haven't bothered yet. Um, and that make you... Your finger sits pretty nicely in there. It's well-sized for my fingers, at least. Um, and that allows you to slide up the keyboard. Um, and you can see, because it's such a chunky device, typing on it is a little bit awkward on the on it. But um, I can do it, especially when I'm not looking through the camera viewfinder. Um, So I didn't even have a text editor open there, but I just typed this is the PyDA project. And you can see it's not super quick, but um, it's working well. I was going to number all these prototypes with the text on the side, but I just got lazy, so they all say prototype 1. Um, I mean, the fit and finish of it is actually surprisingly not completely awful. Down here it's not great, uh, but... This is probably going to be filled in with uh, either hot glue or, like, um, double-sided adhesive to connect the uh, bezel. Um, and here, of course, also, this isn't great, but I'm not even going to bother with that. Um, but, like, it, it, it's a surprisingly finished device when the bezel goes on, um, even though it's not perfect. It's much better than my uh, smart speaker, which was not at all um, professional. But, uh Again, tomorrow I think I will probably print one more bezel with the uh, stylus in the right place, and then that'll be all for this project.